Good morning, YouTubers. It is Monday, the 13th of April. Um, before I get into today what I'm going to do, which is probably gardening, and I'm going to show you because we're going to cut a bush now. Um, I want to show you a quick clip, okay, of a priest hole that I found at uh, Arnage in Le Mans. Uh, last year, 2019, at the Le Mans 24-hour race. Now, I'm putting this on just to show a professor who is also a YouTuber and he's got the most amazing channel, really interesting uh, videos, P Professor Simon Holland. And he's currently locked down in France. Um, and he's got a, uh, I think it's med medieval, um, it was a water mill, I think. I'm sure that's what he said. Uh, he's also got an underground little... Uh, part. So Simon, this little bit here is what I was trying to um, show you, the, uh, the priest hole. So we'll show that clip now. Bonjour, madames et messieurs. Something, something. Voyage. Voyage. Dans la France. Dans la France. That means, hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is our trip to Le Mans. In France, uh, we oh, it's me and Ollie, and we found something really amazing, which you're going to see any second now. It looks like what we think is a medieval building. It's cool as a cool thing. Are you ready for this? Look at this. Shorts not a good idea. You're wearing shorts. Mm. Yeah, look at this. it's like a medieval building in some woods. And what's really amazing about the place is there's a tunnel, right? If I come around here. Inside, we're going to go in, there's a tunnel that goes underground all the way up to about there and then out again. I'm going to show you that because we're going to walk through it. But how cool is it? Oh, let's go on the roof quickly. Let's go on to roof. There's a big hole there. So we are on the roof. So this would have been the attic if they had one. But it's cool as. If it's not medieval, it's got to be, like, I don't know, 17th century. But either way. I'm guessing it was maybe a thatched roof, which has then obviously gone, well, back into the forest. Long gone. Either way, it's pretty cool. Isn't it? Right, let's go downstairs. Downstairs. Mind that all. That was actually leaving the house there. Right then. So, let's go in this. I got my trusty torch. You come in? Alright. Right, put my torch on. The torch is on. So there we go, look. So we're in here. Some graffiti. I don't know what that means. It's funny to see French graffiti. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Beyond, which is good, obviously, and then something to do with an M. Good. And I think, is that a date there? 92. 92, yeah. Oh, no, that. that's 22. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go and have a look. Right. I don't know if it was a fireplace or something. No idea, but anyway. And then so that just goes up to that, that's that hole we found, look. Hmm. Someone's had a bonfire in here, look. Bastards. And here, look at this. Here's this passageway, look. That's going uphill. Oh. Flip. My own, my own stones. Mm. So it goes up here. Look. How cool is this? And right now we're underneath the yeah. uh, wall, the ground that we just walked on. And there's another hole here. Look. I don't know what that does. It goes up there somewhere. Got a cobble on med then. And then we're out here. There's a water pipe there. So here. So if we turn the light off now. 
and then we're back out. Oh, there's something else over there. Well, there we go, we go there. And then we've just discovered oh, nearly tripped over. There's something else over here. Let's go have a look. That looks like just a circle with water in it. Let's go and have a look. Just be careful in case a big drop. Yeah. There's something rusty and metal over there though. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like a pond. That's no bite lot. Oh yeah. Burnt out ped. Don't know. I don't know how deep that is really. Deep probably. No, I don't know, maybe a lot. Alright, oh, well there you go. Let's see this bike. Well, here's a motorbike, look, there's a petrol tank on it. Cool. What could this have been for? So, just a big. Which it's isn't. doesn't even look like a cir perfect circle. It's just a pond, Shit. isn't it? What's going on there? Like bubbles? Fish. Like, decomposing. No, a fish. Anyway. A mutant fish. There you go. That's, um First bit of exploration. We'll show you something else next. Actually, I've just realised, as well as this, I'm going to show you just how. Oof, that's twice. I've, that's the same twice one. I've tripped over that. How about not the first? Right, so this is here. I can imagine the person who got And the, the building is. Oh, it's there, look. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it any second now. There you go. What a quaint little cottage. I know, I'm still thinking it's medieval, but it could be 17th century or 18th century. Either way, it's very old. Why in this hole down here? Right, we're going to explore and see what else we can find. So there you go. It was a really interesting little building right underneath, you know, a lot of mud. So almost like in a, in a hill. So, right, on with the day. Let's see what mischief I can get up today. Nom nom nom! Chocolate! Okay, uh, even though the garden's not ready yet, um, I've got uh, a... Uh, and I couldn't get the Queen. The Queen apparently is too busy to come and open the garden. So, uh, next best thing. Uh, do you remember um, that gardening programme? With... Uh, Alan Titmarsh. Uh, was it Titmarsh or Tit... I can't remember his name. Alright boys and girls, Charlie Dimmock here. Do you all might remember me from such programmes as Digging Holes in Garden. Anyway, we wanted to get that other bloke here, what's his name, Alan Titface, but he was too busy plucking stumps out of the ground with his teeth. So I've come to do it. I'm going to open Mr. J's Arctur and Mega Donkey's garden for him. It's going to be grand. Ooh, it's a bit cold in here, isn't it? If you know what I mean. <laughs> I hereby open this garden. The neighbour's gone mental. <laughs> okay, so I've just moved the wheelie bin. Crikey, it was heavy. There's about 10 years worth of uh, grass cuttings in there. And you have to pay to have it emptied. I like that, I pay you. It's good fertiliser that. Um, so, I'm going to cut all that down. Maybe. I'm sort of looking at it. It's very cold. It's about 7 degrees C. And I don't know whether I can be bothered. But I'm sort of willing myself, like, come on, you can do this. You can do it. Come on, chop it down. Anyway, so that's what it looks like before, and there it is after. That uh, tree in the background, look, this one just here, that is a self-seeded cherry tree that I keep lopping down, I'm going to keep it at that height. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over this with the lawnmower. I've got to keep that because that's a uh, black crumb bush and I want that. All the rest are raspberries. I've got to dig, I've got to leave some raspberries because Ollie 
want some, that's the neighbour's lawnmower, because they're running my lawn their lawnmower, I'm gonna run my lawnmower. But yeah, watch this, lawnmower time. Stump there. I've reduced it by that, that much. <laughs> that bush that was in that corner. It's gonna take some chopping down. Just so happens we've got a cobra. tortured metal in the morning. Poor thing, <laughs> it doesn't know what's hit it. <laughs> it's going, I wasn't designed for this. I'm only five horsepower. Actually, I don't even know what horsepower it is. So it's 98.5 cc. Overhead valve. I don't know what power it is. how we demolish a tree. God, that was fun. It totally chops it up. I don't know what to do with all these berries, and I don't even know whether they're poisonous or what. Uh, hopefully the birds will have them. I don't know. But anyway, I think I'll have a once over with all my wheel over there. And then do something else with it yesterday, later today, maybe. Such fun! So pull that bench out by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cut around there. Uh, let me just show you lot some, some, some garden photography art. That's art that is, that's art. 100 grand it's yours. 100,000, come on. 
Beautiful. Oh, it's looking a bit different. I can't believe I let Char Charlie Dimmock open the uh, open the garden so early. <laughs> the neighbour, the, the, the neighbour said, "I'm not going to ask." <laughs> so there we go. Look. And of course, the shed, which is another project. But I reckon if I get a bag of grass seed and uh, do that. I'm leaving that, that's my black currant bush. I did have two on, but one died. Probably got run over by a lawnmower. I can't believe how different my garden's looking. Oh, cool. Okay, so I've put the bin back there, a bench there. That bench is knackered. I've got to burn it. Uh, and that's it really. Ah, oh, next. The path goes and continues all up there. I might do that next. I might sit down and do nothing and leave it until tomorrow. Because the thing is, if you do it all today, there'll be no left tomorrow. What time is it? Let me see what time it is. Ten past two. Mm, what do you reckon? I can't bother it. I don't know. I would go and sit on that bench, but it's knackered. What a difference it makes. I'm going to try and find um, some footage of the garden before and then after. Good, isn't it? Right, next project. All these weeds. Now, what I'm going to do is the lazy way. There's a bit of a tree growing there as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to boil some water and tip the water on it. Water kills weeds. It's boiling water kills weeds. It's amazing. And of course, that gives me a chance to play with the biolite. Ooh, yes. Almost boiling. It's about five minutes. I'm just chatting with the neighbour. So, I think we'll use that. It's near as damn it boiling. Right. Fill it up. There we go. That's the end of the video. It is half past five on Monday, the 13th of April. It is lockdown diary 22. Whew, what a day! The garden transformed, sort of. I went and bought some grass seed, so I've seeded that, seeded that as well. Uh, and some sunflower seeds which I've planted in a top secret place. You'll see them one day just spread out. They're about a million like this. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, right, so. Thanks for watching. Um, have a look at Professor Simon's um, channel. I promise you now, he puts out some, some very interesting stuff. Very well edited and some great audio tunes as well. Because this is what he used to do for a living, I think. So, anyway. I look forward to your comments. Um, I was going to read out the names of people that have commented. Uh, I'm running out of time and this video will be massive. So I'll do it some other time. But thank you for those that have written a comment. I really do appreciate it. I try and read the comments and reply to them the next morning. But it's not always possible. So now I'm on whiskey. Oh man, Glen Keith, really nice. If you're the manufacturers of Glen Keiths, please send me a crate, a massive crate for the shower. I almost forgot something weird happened last night. Okay, this is before you watch the bonus footage. Okay, I know this is probably a really long video, but hopefully it's been enjoyable. Something really odd last happened last night, and that was um, I've got a CCTV, and when I wake up, um, any time that the motion detection sensor is triggered. I get an alert to the phone. So you switch the phone off, off flight mode, and it's like beep, 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 beep. So you see me sit watching it, and it's like cat, next one, cat, cat. Last night, I had a weird object appear on the CCTV, and I thought, hmm, it's this. And then in the morning, 
as you'll see the footage now. So there's the footage of the weird thing, okay? And then I switch it on in the morning to have a look, and it's a plant pot. And what happened was the wind had blown the plant pot onto my uh, driveway from the neighbors. Uh, and then the neighbor, as you'll see now, came and collected his plant pot. How cool is that? So funny. Anyway, enjoy the bonus footage. Look forward to your comments. See you later, guys and girls.